Hey guys, gonna do a coffee time with Cobra. Only it's like 10 o'clock at night and I'm cooking food for myself. God love working security, night shifts and whatnot. So technically now is when I'm wide awake. And yes, I have glasses on. And yes, I haven't shaved. Um, my girlfriend Comfy is coming out here. Um, yes, I just said girlfriend. Um, You guys probably thinking, what you cooking, Carver? Cooking myself some scrambled eggs with ham and cheese. Gotta get the milk out first. Though. Hi, I'm a, You guys are like, wait, I've never seen this side of Cobra before. He's actually cooking and, and stuff and stuff and care. Yeah, and stuff and stuff and care. Uh, oh. Ah, I might be uh no, I've added sugar. I might uh, jump cut this bit, so gonna grab some bread and some toast. Because I like toast. Yeah. You can probably hear Baroness in the background. You guys are like, but oh, wait a minute, isn't Baroness your wife? Yes, the Baroness is my wife, but I also have a girlfriend. But how is this possible? I have an open relationship. Which is none of your damn business. Ah, so let's add the egg. Oh. I tried soy for the first time a couple of days ago. That was interesting. Had a uh, sea, uh, 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 a soy sea. Uh, it was sushi, but it was soy. It was soy sushi. Um, yeah, seaweed, rice, and it was uh, soy, tofu, tofu and soy. Um, interesting. Um, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Did miss my meat. Rawr. Did miss my meat. I'm a T-Rex guy, did you know? I'm a full-on T-Rex. This is why I'm gonna grab me some cheese and just I've got some cheese in there because you know, I like cheese. I like my cheese. Right, so I'm going to put the camera up there. Up there for now. Sorry about the angle and whatnot and whatnot. No, don't fall. Ah, screw it. I'll probably jump cut that bit. Do the responsible thing. You're outside the sandwich. What's going on? How you guys been? I've been fantastic, thanks guys. I'm gonna eat my dinner slash breakfast. Um, well, I talk to you guys. Hope you don't mind. Um, mm, mm, crunchy. Yum. Mm. Well, uh, what have I been doing? Working my ass off. And. Building Project Yak Tiger. That was interesting. It is. Project's not finished. I've got a couple of episodes up. I think we're up to episode two for you guys, but I've got episode four just finished. So I'm actually a couple of episodes. I, I do have some emergency content to go up, so don't worry. Ha mm. ha. No doubt, you bloody idiot, you just cooked it. What? Oh. Oh. <clears throat> oh, yummy. And well, what's been going on? Um, North Koreans tested a nuke. 
even though they've been sanctioned by everyone, to the point where China's like, you're on your own, dude, get away, fly. You know. And the first thing the American military does is, let's send our soldiers to South Korea. And it's seriously, you know, push someone up against the wall that can actually fire back at us. So there is that. There's the impending doom of North Korea, of uh, North Korea hurting us. So, yay, there's that. So Utah would get hit because we have Hill Air Force Base up north. Southern Utah, where I'm at, would be fine. For the initial blast. And that would say most of the, if not, not all of the fallout. We'd still get hit by the fallout. But the canyon between us would soak up a lot of it, but not all of it. Um, what else? Um, hmm. Just thinking, we've got salt, we've got copper, we've got coal. So, survival wise, we'd be okay for a while. Yeah, I've got a few times. What else? Our own local farms that are self sustaining. I wouldn't say missing or laxed, but moderately good firearms control. You can own an automatic, you can own a semi-automatic, you can own a burst fire um, without use of a FDA permit. Kind of like Texas. Um, open and concealed carry. So there is that too. Open carry is free, concealed carry you have to pay for. I threw a shoe at him and you bring it. Where the hell did he go? My firearms are stored in a safe in my basement. I do have a 9mm and two magazines in my bedroom. Not in the lockbox. Not with this trigger safety. No need. There's no children in my house. Not of age. me and all laws. Um, what else? They're uh, full metal jacket. I would go with hollow point but my walls are quite thick. In all honesty if there's someone in that room you know and it's easy to ambush me I'll just go rat -a tat tat across the wall you know what I mean? Just fucking John Wickham you know what I mean? Um, what else? Uh, my girlfriend's coming. Um, comfy, she's coming to see me. No, I won't be uh, filming. Or well, I might take a picture of me and her, but I won't be filming anything. Um, so yeah, there's that. What else? Um, mm, yeah, this came from my Braddock. <laughs> Aging gracefully. Oh, da -da 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 -da. Braddock from my Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Um, he's officially 14 years old, uh, as of two or three days ago. So uh, he, he's getting old in the tooth, but uh, he's a good dog. Uh, uh, speaking of dogs, uh, we no longer have um, Hammy and Wicket. Um, sadly, they got into a fight that turned very, very vicious, very, very nasty, very, very quick. Um, and myself and Baroness and Grim and Leah tried to split them up and they turned on myself and uh, Icy. They actually bit Icy, um, old Baroness, in the leg and in the arm, tearing her open and immediately sealing their face. There was nothing we could do about it. Um, they literally, she, I, I, Baroness had to have 40 to 140 stitches plus in her leg um, and in her arm. So yeah, she had to have quite a lot of stitches um, and the city came along with the ambulance and the cops and whatnot and um, they had to take both dogs away and put them to sleep. So yeah, so 
what happens when your dogs turn on your owners. Um, it happens, it does happen. Am I upset about it? Absolutely. Um, does it change my mindset about pit bulls? No, it does not. Well, they're half pit bulls. They were, they were more uh, American bulldogs than pit bulls. Um, their dad was half pit bull, half American bulldog. Their mum was American bulldog. So they were more American bulldog than pit bull. Um, but does it turn me away from the bull breed? Absolutely not, because there's angels like my Braddock. Uh, Braddock, um, he is a nanny dog, um, which means if there's two dogs fighting, he wants to get in between them and break it up. Um, he doesn't want to get involved in the fight, he just wants to break it up. You know, he wants them to say, just knock it off, you know, kind of thing. Um, we do have a pregnant kitty, um, that would be Sister. She uh, snuck out and met with a boy kitty, and now she's got kittens on the way. Yay. So there's that. Um, but my Braddock is getting getting very, 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 very old. He's not considered a senior or an elder by the vet. And uh, the vet wants me to take him in and have him examined and checked and looked at and whatnot. And, and I want to take him in. I'm going to take him in and look at him. Have his, his shots are all up to date on his rabies and everything else and whatnot. But uh, it's always good to have your, your your pets checked on. And you know what I mean, guys. It, it's it's always good. This kitchen is freaking swell because I've been cooking and there's no fan or anything in here. Mm. Well, the coffee's done. That means I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this very late night coffee time with Cobra. So uh, I'm going to end the video with stay safe, have fun, keep your fun, keep your image dying, cover commanders out, and I'll see you all on Twitch because I've got my second rig up and running again. So.